Hey YouTube, Mark here. Am I cool? No. So I can't show you how to be cool in real life, obviously, but I can show you how to be cool using Linux. Let me show you how. So I know you want to look cool using Linux because I do as well and we're all nerds here and we all want to look cool because we're all cool. So you're going to want to post your screenshots on Reddit, show off to other Linux users how cool you are, right? Because we know deep down that you are cooler than everyone else. And looking cool, it doesn't matter if you're productive, what matters is if your desktop looks cool. So let's get into it. After watching this video, you'll be able to share your screenshots of your desktop on Reddit and look very cool and impress all your friends who aren't technical or colleagues who you work with or maybe scare them a bit. Tools that produce a lot of output look cool to people who don't know what they're looking at, right? Because they're going to think you're hacking the matrix. Speaking of the matrix, our first tool to make you look cool, C-Matrix. Literally the matrix. That's all it does. It looks cool. People who don't know what they're doing. A certain YouTuber thinks it looks really cool and has it in their background all the time, which is pretty cringe. We've got HTOP. System monitoring. Any program with top in it. So, top. System monitoring tool. It looks cool. It looks like you're hacking the matrix there a bit. HTOP. Looks even cooler because it has colours in. There we go. They're system monitoring programs. HTOP, by the way, is actually really useful. Uh, and I use it all the time. The, and the main one that everyone knows about is NeoFetch or ScreenFetch. Shows you your system and all your OS you use and everything. So that makes you look kind of cool. To look really cool, you can actually open lots of terminals at once like this, split them out correctly, uh, which I didn't do. Open lots of terminals and run all these programs at the same time. So we've got HTOP here. We've got ATOP is another one. I don't have it installed. Just put top there to run C matrix there. Neofetch in the corner there. And last but not least, cointop.sh, which is a server that running an SH server that shows cryptocurrency, right? Screenshot this and you'll look very cool. You can also open up in your text editor a, a system file like Etsy profile. Basically contains settings to configure your system. But we know you don't write code, because who does really? But this can make it look like you do. You just tied it to Etsy profile. You zoom in a bit. There you go how to look cool. So there's other programs that we can use to look cool. If you're running X server, which you should be doing, there's programs like X eyes. Look, so now we've got some eyes that will follow our mouse cursor around. So we'll just keep them in here for the rest of the video. There we go. So they follow our mouse cursor around. This will impress normal people who don't know what they're looking at. There's also X teddy, which is very cool. Constant little teddy that changes your cursor to a heart. We'll put him there. And with X teddy, you can actually change it to um, there's lots of things built into X Teddy, so we could put a little puppy there. So there we go, X Penguin. There we go. So now now we can show that we are using Linux just to make be sure. If you couldn't figure that out already, another way to look cool is to update your system. This produces a lot of output. Oh, our eyes have gone. Okay, I'm going to show you in a bit, but that looks very impressive. So we got our X programs, we got our terminals that we got our programs that produce lots of output. Our tops, our htop, our cointop.sh. But to look cooler, we can use a different terminal emulator. So cool retro term. Look at that. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? So we can actually change the settings of this. Put load the default. There we go. That looks a bit cooler. So let's just run htop again, but in cool retro term. How much cooler does that look here? That really impresses people. Let's look at our config files. Uh, it kind of looks less cool because it doesn't have the color highlighting correct. Let's look at C matrix. Whoa, that looks cool. Cointop.sh. You know, it all looks cooler in cool retro turn. And the cool thing about cool retro turn is let's open up htop because it's the coolest one. We can now change the color so we can figure out what looks cool. So this will probably look good with C matrix here. There we go. And then if we open up Another instance of cool retro time. Change the color of this one. Default load. Move that over. Load htop there. Open up another instance. Move that down there. And here we want this one to look like. What should we pick, guys? Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And here we'll actually. This is where we do our system updates. System updates are cool because they print loads of text to the terminal. Yes, these look cool to people who don't know what they're looking at. So enough of this. <laughs> I know that you're quite amazed already with how cool my desktop looks. You're probably jealous, but you can install all these programs yourself. Let's show you, whilst this is running in the bottom here, let me show you some other cool programs you can use to show off how cool you are. There's websites that will display interesting information to your terminal. So I have this alias here called Weather. Okay. Whoa, okay. Zooming out and zooming in. 
That looks cool, see, you discover things every day. Whoa, weather, like this. I'll show you that on my normal terminal. So I'll close the cool retro terms, open up a normal terminal, and run the weather command. This shows you the weather, the five day forecast here. Now this is actually an alias that I wrote, which does this. Uh, you don't need to know that this is running really, so I will use my window manager to hide that. There we go. So curlweather.in slash jersey, wherever you are. There we go. So that does that. Um, but if you're in, say, Melbourne, 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 bloody hell, Australia, let's see how hot it is over there. You get a nice five day forecast in your terminal, so let's have a look at Melbourne again. Um, yeah, you know, partially cloudy. Whatever, cool, right? Greater Melbourne, Greater Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. It's bloody. You can also do other things with this, so you can really show off by doing this. You can get a moon cycle. Look at that. Cool, right? So our package upgrades are finished, so we can have a look at what that looks like in a cool terminal. I spelt moon wrong. <laughs> so we're now looking at moon in the Netherlands. Fine, did that a bit wrong. There we go. Looks a bit cooler, and then you can like zoom out. Whoa. Anyway, got a bit distracted there. Another one that's cool, parrot.live. There you go, fancy parrot. That's about it. Combine all those together, get some normal terminals, get some cool retro terminals, update your system, have Neo fetch in the corner, use your X eyes and have a little cute little teddy bear here. That's how you look really cool using Linux. You might not be able to look cool in real life, but you can using Linux. I got you, fam. Like, comment, subscribe so I look cool on YouTube. Thanks.